Welcome, everyone. Um, this is going to be a reading for all signs, um, all people. It's for what is, you know, what can we expect for the month of December? I just got done doing like all the um, individual signs. So I, I like finishing it up with like an all sign reading at the end, like the exclamation point. So that's what this is. Um, it just so happens that it is a full moon. I didn't even know that. Um, I chose to do your reading at night. I just came back and I was just sitting at my desk and I looked out the window and I'm like, oh my God, it's a full moon. So I looked it up. So we have a beaver full moon in the sign of Taurus. Um, it represents, you know, when I think of a beaver, you know, um, in a full moon energy, using the moonlight to do the final repairs on the dams or, you know, where they, where they're going to be hibernating their dens. Um, it's that, it's the final repair before the hi hibernation. So interesting. Um, I don't know. I'm thinking all of a sudden I'm thinking, well, gee, we could use that in a thousand different ways. So I guess take it for whatever it means to you. Tar is a very stable sign. Um, earthly, you know, think earthly. They're not always stable, but you know what I mean? Um, so I, I feel like it's a good sign to be in right now. Um, and what else? Hmm. I think that's it. I mean, this isn't, I'm not doing this to do a full moon reading. It just so happened that I'm doing it on the full moon and I find that interesting. So I feel like it's going to be a very interesting type of reading. It's probably going to take us deep and I'm willing to go if you're willing to go. So let's go ahead and get into the reading. Again, all signs, you know, leave your fear at the, at the door, bring your intuition in. And um, trust your intuition, you know, trust the signs, the feelings, all that, the synchronicities. You like, I always feel like you'll know if a reading is for you. Um, you don't want to force anything, though there are like many stories within a story. Like, that's the one thing I've learned within Tarot when you're doing it for a large audience, that there's many stories. Um, and I can see a lot of them, like in one story, and I have to kind of pick and choose, you know. So, let's go ahead and begin. All right, so we're going to use the Universal Tarot for the main spread. And the reason we're using Universal Tarot is because I used it through the majority of the readings for um, for December. We're going to use the Gilded Tarot to clarify or go deeper. And we, of course, are going to start with Mother Mary. Get our words of wisdom. Must be words of wisdom. Let it be. You know, I read just a quick story. I know I shouldn't tell a story at the beginning of a reading. However, um... I just, you know, when I think, when I say Mother Mary's words of wisdom, I mean that. But it always brings the song, Let It Be, up in my mind. And I start, like, humming it, like, within, sometimes outwardly, too. Um, but I think the time, about the time that I first heard it, and I was, I remember I was on my bike. And I was just a kid, and I was alone riding my bike. And I was riding, we had a, um, a local college, and I was riding my bike through the college because I liked all the twists and turns and what have you. And um, there was a big park there, and I saw all these people and music. So I rode up to the concert and was just sitting there listening. And then they did the song, Let It Be. And I just, I just had tears. I mean, I connected to the song so much. I don't know um, that I'll, I just, I'll never forget that moment. You know what I mean? Like maybe it's the moment I fell in love with music. 
you know, I'm not sure, but anyway, Mother Mary, okay, well, that didn't take long. We have herring, tis the season. Heaven cares for me, and I keep my heart open to caring about myself, others, and the world. And the world. What does the world need it right now? Um, I feel like everybody needs it. I just feel like everybody needs it right now. And um, I get this feeling like you don't fight hate with hate. Don't fight hate with hate. So if someone's being hateful towards you, don't be hateful back. I feel like it just will get you nowhere. I feel like this must be a special message for someone. <laughs> um, or maybe it's for a lot of us. But I do get this feeling like, you know, if there's someone I'm battling and they're being hateful, I don't want to meet that energy. I don't want to be that energy. They're just pulling me down into their vibration, and the way out is through a higher vibration. Anyway, caring. We'll read this from the book at the end of the reading. Um, but let's go ahead and get into the main spread. The main events. We're giving the Universal Tarot the honor. So I hope they're kind to us. All right, it's going to cut. And I'm going to shuffle. That didn't take long at all. Look at this, the bowl. Wow, that must have been why I was going on and on about the beavers. Because the first card is the full, free and clear about the past. You know, um, there's no hate within the full. The full's off doing the next big thing. You know, the full's off taking leaps of faith. Um and finding new adventure and you know whatever awaits it feels like in a completely different direction hmm. you know i feel like we are, we become the full many times through our life you know every time one cycle ends i feel like that's the death card close that door first you know let's just think of the hermit reflecting what did I learn? What how have I grown? What was my you know, my part within it? Knowing all of that, no judgment, just knowing yourself. And then knowing okay, you know, when something it's time to go, it's time to go. If a door is meant to close, you know, I feel like you know it instinctively. Um but a lot of times I feel like our human is just second guesses and sometimes we just stay at the party too long. The fool's the opposite. It's like, what's next? All right, well, let's see. You know, I'm noticing the zero with the fool and you know, that zero is just making me think of infinity. Wow, look at that, the Ten of Swords. Some of you are entering, and or some of you are ending. And I'm saying you're ending because the fool is actually leaving the Ten of Swords. He's not heading towards it, he's leaving it. I had enough. Someone has seen a repeat pattern within themselves that ultimately ended up with daggers from others within that, you know, like I took, I took the brunt of the pain. This person definitely seeing the swords coming. 
but I feel like, you know, maybe that's why I'm doing it on a full moon because, you know, even if you're not like physically leaving something, you may be like saying to yourself, that's it. Enough is enough. I am taking on the fool's energy. Fool's like a brand new day. And I know it's not that easy from like, you know, the Ten of Swords to the Fool. But man, what a weight is lifted off you. And I feel like sometimes when we, you know, it's it's really a good thing when we recognize that these patterns within ourselves. And we all have them. You know what I mean? But when we recognize it, like, wait a minute. Keep doing the same thing and end up with the same person. And then it ultimately ends up at the same place. What's going on here? You know, Mother Mary said, care for yourself first, right? And I don't mean that in a put yourself above others. I mean, you need to take care of you first. You know, you have a right to be happy. You have a right to do what it is you want to do. And, um, but you're going to know that, right? And you got to be willing to take chances, take risks. Temperance. Mm. Divine timing. Temperance is, temperance is a lesson though, is patience. Interesting. Carter Sagittarius, too, by the way. Sun Major Arcana. Temperance has two cups in her hands, and she is like Letting, like, the, the, I don't know, it's like the water flow, like, from cup to cup. Making sure they're balanced, right? That's divine timing. That's divine time. Like, both cups. This has anything to do with love, even love gone wrong. You know, that just means both cups weren't balanced. But I just feel like there's something in that for some of you. All right, what else do we have? The Nine of Pentacles, very independent energy. Very independent energy. Um, this is the meaning of the cards, successful self-employment. I mean, there's many meanings, but that's ultimately what it is you know i feel like in the nine and pentacles it talks about your hard work but i feel like you know i kind of love what i'm doing here so you know even though it may be hard work it's like what i do like it's hard work but in the same breath like i love it i couldn't imagine i don't know doing anything else this is um an independent nature Some of you are leaving to someone. And um, I kind of love the temperance is there because I almost feel like she's your protection between whoever's putting these swords in you to ultimately starting fresh, starting new, and ultimately finding success all on your own. Eight of Cups. Well, I know you're not in it because the fool is above it. That means that um, you've taken a good hard look within your own emotional house. You know, like you've evalu evaluated like the cups that have fallen over. Like how did I end up with these swords, you know? I mean, of course it's an emotional thing. Eight, new beginning, 
We're moving into universal year rate. Perfect energy of taking the full open, beginning something new, maybe building something for yourself. And, you know, I feel like temperance really feels almost like protection. Like, like I feel like this, like this pillow. But it can't be penetrated, like, between me and, well, you know, the Ten of Swords. It's almost like a soft place to fall or to lie. All right, with page, the Page of Swords, this could talk about someone's communication. Could have definitely been a place where communication was not good. Not good. You know, I often feel the Page of Swords is on a lesson or, you know, like one of the lessons in the Page's life is learning how to use that sword, right? And the sword, to me, speaks truth, communication, how I speak. To, about myself, to myself, but also to the world. You know, I may, um, maybe I use that sword as a weapon. Maybe somebody else does. You know, maybe two people are learning here, right? One's learning not to take it, and the other one's learning, like, okay, if I keep doing it, I'm just going to keep, you know, losing. All right, let's keep going. I just feel like some of you are on this new, let's just call it an adventure. Um, and it feels like, you know, we're asking about the month of December. So maybe it's happening in December, but I'm getting this feeling like it because I'm especially with the eight there, like maybe it's 2024, but I feel like we're like, you know, like New Year's Eve type of energy. Another eight, by the way, strength card. These eights have been following us all month. So why would they stop now? Hermit. Look at that. Two cards of Virgo. It's funny. My boyfriend's a double Virgo. Sun and moon. Yes. Excuse me. You know, it's interesting because the Hermit is illuminating the strength card. So I feel like we got to really look at the strength card. And Temperance is above it, right? Divine timing. But it doesn't always mean that we're waiting. Sometimes the universe is waiting, but maybe it only waits for so long. I don't know. Um, but in the eight or, or in the strength card, you know, you're fighting your own demons, right? You're dealing with maybe it's like, like, I'll be damned. I got pulled into like that conversation and I started talking, you know, like, you know, like, like maybe a conversation was bad on both ends, you know, but I feel like I don't know. I mean, it sucks. Yes. However, in the same breath, I feel like maybe just maybe there's so much waiting. Or I shouldn't even say waiting. There's so much like that still lies upon your path. You know, maybe we 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 complete our path and maybe we don't complete our path. I'm not sure like it's, you know, required. But I feel like as a soul, we want to. So anyways, I feel like the hermit's illuminating through the wisdom of the hermit. Hermit means to me 
that chances are you've gone through the energy of like the dark night of the soul, just like where you felt like there was no way out. You know, you were seeking the light. And I feel like the hermit ultimately figures out, I am the light. I am my savior. I can save myself. I can save myself. And I feel like what I mean by that is, I feel like your guides are definitely helping you. Epiphanies, you know, that type of thing. Invite your angels in. You know, your angels need invited in, by the way. Your guides are always sending signs, but... You know, if you're not seeing something clearly, ask for him to send it again. Make it bigger. Two nines. Look at that. Big, how interesting. Both energies may be reflection, right? Nine. Against, I shouldn't say against, mirroring energies of new beginnings. The full and an eight. To me, an eight is about a new beginning. This person's like walking away. I'm walking away from those cups. Where are they heading? They're heading to the nine of cups. What's it mean? It means inner harmony. Inner harmony. You know, a lot of times we're looking for outer harmony, right? We're looking for harmony out there. And we forget to look for inner harmony. That's where the truth lies. That's where everything begins. And you know what I mean? Like, if you don't have inner harmony, and maybe, you know, the when you can't depend on yourself, let's say financially, or I don't know. I feel like you can, but when you think that you can't, you know, maybe someone has told you that over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. And you start to believe that. To take it on, right? It's almost like you fight with it, like within yourself. You know, it's like divine. Here's divine right above you. Your own wisdom right beside you. So, I don't know. I don't know why I'm saying I don't know. Anyway, some of you are off. Like, here I go. I'm off. All right, let's keep going. I think because we're entering a universal year eight, I feel like... Um, those who own businesses or even just money, I feel like is, it, you know, like think about it because I feel like this is that's or 2024 is going to be a year where I feel like our material growth or we can have material growth, you know, nine of pentacles, if we're willing to put in the work, you know, who sees the benefit of the nine of pentacles of the work put in you do not the guy. Not the big boss. You do. Your wisdom. You know, your wisdom. Can't even put a price on it. Look at this. Knight of Pentacles. Beautiful. It's Guardian Angel Energy. Knight of Pentacles. It's um, also a lesson in patience. Patience, my child. All good things will come. You know, nobody promised us a rose garden. I never promised you a rose garden. Bono, Bono. What is that song? Knock three times. Knock three times on the ceiling if you want me. Twice on the pipes. I don't know. Anyway. Sorry about that. Um, you know, it's so funny. I, I've been finding more and more and more like, you know, someone will say a word or I'll see something on TV and it, and it like makes me want to break out in like a song that it just comes to my mind. So, you know, I've been doing it. It's almost like I can't help it. Anyway, so this night, 
comes at the right time. And that you can trust in. You know what I mean? Like that you can trust in. But I feel like, you know, what is the right time? Well, what's above it? The eight of cups, the walking away from that emotional, you know, first of all, these cups are up. They're in order. And maybe what's ever not up, maybe it didn't matter anyway. And then the full, right? You're not aching the pain of the Ten of Swords. You, you know, it's almost like once I leave that Ten of Swords, I am free. And I feel it. I feel it. I do feel like I do have to know. I do have to understand it. You know, to a point. And that may be the right time. Whoa. Look at that. The world. The next chapter. The next chapter. I do feel like this is talking more about 2024, but I feel like the opening of 2024. Maybe that's why I just keep seeing eights after eights after eights. Knight of Pentacles is coming through the world's energy. So, you know, maybe I haven't seen whatever this night, not whatever this night, but really, because I feel like it's guarding angel energy. And I love the spirituality on the table. Um, so this night coming in at the right time, right? Well, it's coming through the world or to the world. So let's keep going. And it's meant really to expand your life. For some of you, maybe it's the way to begin your business. You know, whatever it may be. I feel like who's ever putting the swords in you, I feel like their days are numbered. Look at that. Two swords, and it came in reverse. It's like you have taken the blindfold off. Brother, sister, you have taken the blindfold off. You see the truth for the truth. You know, the two swords this way, something I just don't want to face. And it is coming under the strength card. So, you know, I do have to, it is, part of it is me. There's something within me I also need to look at, but don't. Not in a judgmental way. I keep saying that. And I feel like, because I feel like your spiritual team, it feels like a, a pillow. Anyway, in reverse. Ugh, can't hold it. That means I'm taking the blindfold off. That means I'm not going to block my own opportunities because of these swords. That means that I have found balance. Where did I feel? Well, temperance. What's she doing? She's balancing these cups. And I feel like a strength card means I am finding this inner balance. Where's this person going from the eight of cups to the nine of cups? Inner harmony. Inner balance. No blindfold. I mean, come on. That makes you unstoppable. And then you add the energy of the hermit. Your spirituality. You know what you know what you know. And some of you taking that and shining your light outwardly. And maybe that's what you end up doing for your life. Becomes your life purpose. But also what you do. Like what I do here. I mean... We have, interesting, the death card. Closing of a door. And then look at this. Movement. You know, 
this makes sense because the death card, first of all, it is the card of Scorpio. I need to say that. But it is being mirrored by the Knight of uh, Pentacles over here, by the way. So I do feel like a door, you know, like a door must be closed. And two nines coming above it, you know, independent type energy. I feel like in a nine, um, you know, it is about reflection, but I also feel like it's about independence, right? I know what I know what I know now. Maybe I didn't know what I knew then, but now I know what I know, even if I don't know how I know it. That's the attitude you have now, or the attitude you will have, and the attitude you should have. And then someone tries to put that sword in you again. Now I know. Now I know. And that's what I feel like the Six of Swords is. It's that realization. That's what the reversal of the Two of Swords is. That blindfold. Now I understand the toxicity. I understand how that toxicity affects me in my life. You know, maybe others too, but what about me? This is how it affects you. But this is also about what you're going to do. This is leaving it behind. You know, not only leaving it behind, but you're closing the door. And then I feel like the universe responds like almost immediately. Not only does the universe respond immediately, I feel like you respond immediately. It's like, like I am the fool. You know, and it doesn't mean the fool has like all the money in the world or any of that. Maybe I have none of that. And now that's what I'm going to go and create. How am I going to do that? I don't know yet, but... Maybe I'll be inspired. I feel like you'll be inspired. Especially with the Knight of Pentacles down here. All right. Let's bring in the... Um, what am I doing? I don't know why I just did that. With the Empress at the bottom of the deck. Brought in there. I did that to the wrong deck. So a very loving and nurturing type energy, a very creative, and I feel like forward thinking type of energy. Um, very wise, like been there, done that. So good luck trying to fool the Empress. You know, even the Empress, I feel like, has gone through the Ten of Swords. And it's because she's gone through it that she has a sense of empathy and compassion for others who are going through it. That's exactly what has given her that empathy and compassion. You know, sometimes down the road, it's hard to say we'll be grateful for certain experiences, but we will be. Now, certain experiences we won't be, but for some, we will be. We'll see, we'll understand, like, like um, you know, just a quick story. Like, I remember when I was managing a fitness center, and, I mean, I had done that for 25 years, and then all of a sudden, I lost my job, like, boom, and it was traumatic, Um and then I could not get a job. I couldn't get a job. So I remember I went to an Italian supermarket and they were looking for a cashier. It was a small pl place. I lived um, by the water, <clears throat> by the beach. And um, so we had, it had a dally and what have you. So anyways, long story short, I had to beg for that job um, because the man, Tony, he said, you're overqualified. You'll leave me the minute something opens up. And I said, well, you know, I'm not going to lie. I said, uh, if that would happen, what I will promise you is a month's notice. 
you know what I mean? Um, so he gave me the job. Um, and then, you know, here I am, I'm a cashier. And boy, did I meet, like, I felt like the people, like certain people who came down my aisle, um, like this man and this woman, this husband and wife, they were, they were elderly. Uh, they always came and bought apples. I don't know, like they really left a mark on me. Um, and I feel like I probably to them. So I think why I'm saying that is you never know why you are where you're at, but don't second guess it. The emperor in reverse. It's almost like someone saying, take this job and shove it. I don't work for you no more. Card of Aries. But he's in reverse. Can certainly be, um, you know, it's the leader of the people. But listen, maybe right now I don't feel like leading the people. I feel like leading me. Interesting, we do have the Empress right there. So close. Maybe the Empress is leaving the Emperor. Or the other way around. But the Emperor is in reverse. Look at this Ten of Cups over the Ten of Swords. Interesting. House of Harmony. But that wasn't a house of harmony. That was, look at that. Oh, there's another one too. Look at this. And then justice. And then, hello world. Hello world. Hello wheel. Destiny. Wow. Let me tell you. God, does this feel clear? It is like the Empress is is leaving the Emperor. And I feel like what maybe looks like the Ten of, almost like the Devil needs to come out, right? Like illusions, because what looks maybe like the Ten of Cups is really the Ten of Swords. And Justice, you know, Carter Lieber, by the way, um, interesting that, you know, she has the scales, right? They almost look like two cups, and they're balanced. And that's what justice is about, balance. But it's also about divorce. Cutting your ties. No longer taking it. Starting anew. It all feels like, like... You know, I don't want you to look at this like, you know, oh, I was so stupid. Because I feel like because the wheel was here, there was something to learn. And, you know, I feel like those of us who taken on these difficult lies, you know, it's because we've been here before. It's because we're bold enough. You know, maybe we don't know that till we know that. Maybe we didn't realize we weren't free until we are free. Justice, cutting ties. I feel like that's what temperance is waiting for. And then the world opens up with the nine of pentacles, being able to care for oneself. Listen, doesn't have to mean I become rich. Maybe I don't even care if I become rich. Maybe just the thought of me taking care of me is good enough. I definitely feel like some of your opening businesses up next year. Funny I'm saying next year. Because it feels like it's right around the corner. These circles, circles, circles. You've been here before. You've done this before. You know, maybe it's the remembrance of it.
chariot, card cancer. We're in the year of the chariot. I feel like the chariot is, well, first of all, it's like, it's almost like the fool's vehicle. It feels like it's the fool's vehicle. But I also want to say in a spiritual level, I feel like the chariot doesn't arrive until one's ready for it to arrive. Because it is ultimately about balance of the masculine and the feminine within. The light and the dark. I feel like saying goodbye, Emperor. We have the Six of Wands. Victorious. Wow, look at that. Under Justice. And then we have the Five of Pentacles. <clears throat> five of Pentacles. First of all, I feel like with victory coming over the strength card, again, if we think of the strength card as our inner our, our self, our inner selves, right? There's a lot of energy is talking about inner energy, right? Your spirituality, um, your emotional house, you know, being truthful with oneself, like, you know, all of that. I feel like um, it's almost like a spiritual platform. And I do feel like, you know, like I want to keep it real. Like I don't feel like, okay, so I say enough is enough, right? You know, like to the world we look this way, but, you know, in, inside we're not. Knowing my own part in that, but also knowing when enough is enough. And it does feel like it, because I feel like here I am, I'm going to start anew. And again, you know, whether this emperor be a lover or, uh, you know, a boss. It's being met by the nine of pentacles in the world. Hello. Success. The next chapter. Independence. Fulfillment. I feel like the world is the most spiritual time in your life. You know, I feel like, let's put it a different way. I feel like it's when you understand your spirituality like never before. And you use it. Why wouldn't you? And I feel like, you know, if we're really real, it may mean that, you know, there is this moment within the Five of Pentacles where, you know, it feels difficult. Or maybe I think it's, you know, um, but truth be told, it is a five. So it's asking for change. Um, I often feel like soulmates are just waiting. They're just around the corner. And I mean that as in helpful, you know, like, like. I'm about to take a left and someone accidentally bumps me. And I'm like, oh, you know what? I'm going to take a right. And just that person bumping me, that was, a, that was all they were meant to do. All right, let's keep going. I feel like, I can't help but feel like you got your leaving. Um, and I can't help but feel like that's a guy, exactly what you should do. If you choose, you know, it has to be you. You know, I feel like sometimes when, if it's the same person that keeps putting these swords in me, why would they leave? You know, they're more than happy because here I am just taking the swords. And they can still do their thing. 
I feel like we saw stand your ground somewhere. Queen of Pentacles under there. Anyway, I don't know what I was going to say now, but let's keep going. Nine of Pentacles again. Look at this right over the Knight of Pentacles. And then the Page of Wands. Right over the world. Well, let's keep going. Let's finish this line. Page of Wands. Um, definitely. Definitely the energy of um, taking chance here. I mean, success is, I feel like it is meant for you next year. Look at this, the Eight of Pentacles. I'm going to do what I do because I know I'm meant to do it. Listen, this reading is like not for nothing. This reading is to give you confirmation. This is to give you confirmation. For some of you, it's helping to take off that blindfold. And I feel like once you take up the blindfold, you can't help but see the truth. And within the truth, you'll figure it out. You'll figure it out. And you're not alone. That's the thing. You're not alone here. But I got to know what's toxic to me. If I don't know what's toxic, if I don't know what holds me down, holds me back, you know, tells me I'm not good enough, I won't make it, right? I won't be victorious. Oh, really? But I bought it. Hook, line, and sinker for a little while. Maybe that's not how what we showed the world. Anyway. Can I just say, I feel like, um, I feel like somebody is in for a big surprise. Because I feel like you are feeling this and not only that, I feel like you are taking these chances. Another eight. Eight of Pentacles says, don't be afraid to be the apprentice. Don't be afraid to go into something, you know, um, that maybe you don't know everything. Because this is the energy I feel like is learning as you go. You know, think of the apprentice, right? I, I give you my time so I can learn. But ultimately, you know, I don't want to stay the apprentice, right? I want to be the master teacher. Well, we have the Nine of Pentacles twice. Both of them right next to the world. Eight of Pentacles says, if you focus on it, this is what you're going to grow. Feel like somebody is out um maybe you're studying for like a bar exam or something um or you need to or you want to something like i feel like that's gonna happen look at this ten of swords again right over the six of swords and the death card hello and then the queen of wands page of wands now the queen of wands could be like someone i've been with for quite a while Again, it's not even specifying whether it's love or it's work or life, you know, it can be family. It's just saying that there's something or someone who is like making a repeat, you know, well, you know, again, the nine of swords, but right, or the ten of swords right over the death card, the door that needs closed, it's being so clear. The ten of swords. Queen of Wands is what I call my queen of action. She's someone who is, she follows her passions. She follows her desires. And um, she's not going to overthink it. You know, I feel like I spent too much time doing that. Now I'm feeling different. I'm feeling new. I feel like this is so clear. Um, and I feel like you're either going to get it or you're not going to get it. And then maybe you don't get it right away. Maybe you don't get it until, 
you know, like a couple weeks down the road, down the road, and all of a sudden, something within this reading happens. You're like, oh, I remember that. I should go back and watch a reading, and you rewatch it, and it's like, then you hear it. You hear it in a different way. You hear it with your spiritual ears. So, there's nothing that you cannot overcome. And I feel like this is showing us over and over that you've done this and been here and done this and been here. And maybe now it's like you're bringing it to completion. Maybe this is talking about a pattern of lifetimes. And you, this lifetime, you're bringing it to completion. You're cutting that, those ties. And listen, think about that. That means you're cutting them for eternity. It doesn't always mean the people. It means what's ever toxic. You're cutting the ties to it. You're cutting the ties. And you're setting yourself free by doing that. And I feel like, and in return, the universe is like ready to, you know, send in your blessings. Like send in the clowns. I don't know why I just thought of that. Was that Smokey Robinson? Anyway, let's read Mother Mary and let's let it be. Caring. Wow. All right. Mother Mary sent you this card as a reminder that she cares deeply for you and your family. Although you may sometimes feel alone, you are definitely watched over and protected. I could feel that. When life is stressful, though, as it has been lately for you, you may not feel the Blessed Mother's loving presence. So carry this message with you to help you know that divine love is here for you. This card also asks you to keep your heart open. Here is the Empress and continue caring for others. Even though you may feel unappreciated or used, remember that your spiritual path is to be loving and helpful, not to change others. However, you don't need to, nor should you, stay in any abusive or toxic situation or relationships. You can care for someone from afar. Wow. Most importantly, care for yourself, dear one. Take this time and attend to things that are important for your health, happiness, and well being and well being. Wow. I mean, amen. Thank you, Mother Mary. I feel like boom. Icing on top. Boom. Mic drop. Um, and I'm gonna leave it there. Um, but I could, you know, I hope like when I read. Like, you could see, like, you know, certain images, like, came to mind. The Empress and, um, and a sword, you know, all of that. So, anyway, that's why I wait to the end to read it. I feel like it's just, it's profound. You know, Mother Mary saying, I don't apologize. All right. I love you guys. Thank you. Um, and I'm going to let that be. I'll see you next time at our table. Happy full moon. Um, I may not put this out on the full moon because it's kind of late. Um, and I may work on it tomorrow, like thumbnail and all that. But um, I did want you to know that I'm shooting it on the full moon. So, you know, maybe that's what it's saying. Wrapping up, being like that little beaver. Making sure your dam is, is you know is is strong and stable cart cars right all right anyway i love you i'll see you next time at our table guys bye bye